I'm gonna make a classic corned beef hash and I'm gonna start by roasting the russet and sweet potatoes. I peeled them and diced them pretty small. I'm getting them onto a sheet pan and just drizzling with olive oil, really simple, and plenty of salt and pepper. So I'm just gonna toss it with the bench scraper and then let's get the potatoes into the oven, Alex. Ready? Boy, we're walking to the oven a lot. 425 degrees for 18 to 20 minutes until the taters are nice and roasted. Okay, the potatoes are almost done, so I'm gonna move forward with the skillet situation. I've got some chopped onion and some minced garlic, and I've just got a little bit of olive oil in the pan. So I'm gonna stir and start the cooking process for this. And while that starts to cook, I'm gonna get the eggs going. So I'm gonna make sunny side up eggs. And I always wanna have plenty of time to get the eggs cooked since they're not gonna be flipped. It takes a little extra time. So I've got some olive oil and a little skillet and I already cracked the eggs <laughs> and I just poured them right in and I'll sprinkle on some salt and pepper. There is nothing like a sunny side up egg. So I've got this on low and I'm just gonna let these eggs sit and slowly cook. All right. So the onions and the garlic are cooking. So I'm just gonna keep stirring these around for about three minutes until they start to soften. All right, the onions are starting to soften. So I'm gonna add the corned beef since this is a corned beef hash. Mm -hmm. So to this, I'm gonna add some grill seasoning. Just any old grill seasoning is fine. And then a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Oh, yeah. And look at these eggs so far. Wow. Whoa. Oh, they're slip. Wow, thanks for the, <laughs> finally, for an enthusiastic reaction today. All righty. So I'm going to let this start to cook. And let's go to the oven and get the potatoes, Alex, OK? <sighs> to the oven again. <laughs> My legs are getting tired. Wow. Roasty potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna scrape the potatoes right into the skillet. Ugh, there we go. Woo! <laughs> I love hash for breakfast. It's frugal, it's delicious. Okay, look at this, Alex. Wow. How does it look? It's looking and smelling amazing. It is, so I'm just gonna let it cook for a good couple of minutes in this hot pan. Get the edges kind of brown, and then we'll serve it up. Okay, Alex, get in here and look at this. Look, this is what you call corned beef hash. Nothing fancy, just celebrating all of the ingredients for what they are. And the mix of sweet potatoes and russet potatoes are kind of a nice little interest. Okay. <laughs> I'm oh, leaving baby. that towel there because I'm gonna put this hot, hot pan right here so we can see it. So I kind of pulled the kids and I was asking if we should, if I should break up the eggs before I add them to the top of the corned beef or if I should just slide them on in and they chose the slide option. So. Let me move some of the corned beef to the edge because we don't want to lose the beauty. <laughs> Ready? Oh. oh. Oh my gosh, please. Thank you. Oh. Look Beautiful. at that, Yay. you guys. That was a great oh, suggestion. Oh my God. And then grab some parsley. Yay. But isn't this pretty? And what I love about it is that you can just serve it to your kids or you can serve it to like holiday company. Okay, and then a little bit of parsley elevates it a little bit. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Corned beef hash. 